Long thoracic nerve. Long thoracic nerve is a branch of the brachial plexus. It arises directly from the cervical nerve roots C5, C6, and C7. It lies dorsal to the spinal nerves and it innervates the serratus anterior. You can see the long road for its mission, therefore it's called the long thoracic nerve. Why is the name? Because the nerve is long and it lies over the chest. So the nerve travels in a distal direction behind the brachial plexus, between the scalenus anterior and middle under the clavicle and over the first rib and run along the mid axillary line for 22 to 24 centimeter to reach and innervate its target. The target is the serratus anterior. That's why it's called long thoracic nerve. Because it is long nerve, it is susceptible to traction injury. Injury can occur from axilla dissection or aggressive retraction of the middle scalene muscle. If the nerve is injured, you cause weakness or paralysis of the serratus anterior and you get medial winging of the scapula. What is the function of the serratus anterior? It pulls the scapula away from the midline and forward around the thorax. We call it scapular abduction. It also rotates the scapula upwards. But the most important function, it stabilizes the scapula so other muscles can work properly on it. Now we go to winging of the scapula. So there will be a prominence of the scapula in ferromedial edge with medial displacement, downward rotation, the position of the resting scapula is upwards and medial and the trapezius dominates the motion. That's why we call that medial winging of the scapula. If the trapezius is involved because of the accessory nerve, then there will be lateral winging of the scapula. So the long thoracic is medial winging of the scapula. How do you diagnose the injury? Diagnose it by the patient complaint of dull shoulder ache and pain and weakness and uh, you'll find there is scapular winging especially when the arm push against resistance like you push against a wall. The test that a lot of people use is pushing forward against resistance with the elbow extended and the shoulder protracted forward means anteriorly and you will be able to see the winging. That may be useful for the minor cases, but for the major cases, uh, it will be very apparent and very obvious. Now, this point is an important point. Usually, winging of the scapula will cause dull pain because of fatigue, but if there is severe pain, in addition to winging of the scapula, severe acute pain and winging of the scapula means brachial neuritis. You must exclude that. What is the role of EMG and nerve studies in long thoracic nerve injury? It's very helpful. You will find the serratus anterior is involved. What is the treatment? Usually non-surgical. Observe for at least six months. Muscle strengthening and bracing. Recovery can occur, but it may take one year or more. How about surgery? It can be helpful where there is a space occupying lesion pushing on the nerve. See the decompression of the long thoracic nerve. Or external head of the pectoralis major will be transferred for the scapula, the medial winging, that's not getting better with treatment. 
you will transfer the pectoralis major to the inferior border of the scapula. 